Hi there, this is Diane Hanks, and I have a very special makeover session for you today. This is about home decor, and a lot of people have asked me about certain things about, um, you know, the home, the decorations and styles of um, putting things together, and I want to teach a little principle today that I, th I hopefully will impart that it is so easy and it will feel good. That's the greatest thing of all, is that it feels good. Uh, when we talk about the four personalities, as I have mentioned in some of my previous videos, if you haven't uh, caught those, please be sure you catch those, because those four personalities, the essence of who they are, is going to be reflected in everything about you. Everything, including your environment at home, including the car you drive, including your hairstyle, including your wardrobe, including your fragrance. So if you haven't done a little personal assessing uh, to determine, you know, which one of those personality styles is primarily yours, you are in for a treat because um, sometimes, here's the power of it, okay? Here is the power of it. When you and your presentation and your environment all reflects who you really are. You shine. You are in your greatest power of revealing the most magnificent you. That's why it's important. Everything matters. Some people say, oh, nothing matters. You don't even have to get caught up in whatever. That is not my philosophy. My philosophy is that everything matters. And the respect that you show to yourself, the respect that you show to your environment, the respect that you show to your body, to your car, to your gardens, to your home, all of it is important. And so I want to teach a little principle as far as um, design and how to mix and match patterns, okay? And I did learn this from a gal on, I think it was the Discovery Channel, Lynette Jennings. I loved, loved her show. And I'm, that was my inspiration. I'm going to do my own little twist on it. All of us have seen or been inspired by something that we love whether it's a piece of fabric or a magazine cover or an album record cover or a book cover or a blouse or something that inspires you, that when you see it, you just love it. Now, usually you will be attracted to things that are appropriate for your personality. So I wanna kinda give you a little example, and by the way, Everything I'm going to share today with you is something that you can do for free. Okay? I'm not saying you have to spend any money. This is something you can do for free. The first thing that you do is really <clears throat> think about a time or a few times when you've seen a blouse or a skirt or a tie or something that you just loved. Just take a moment and think about that. I remember one time I was in Martha's Vineyard and I fell in love with this tie. It was a man's tie. It was a watercolor, just, just, just beautiful bunch of colors, just beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna use for example, I have a blouse here. And what you do is you can have this, whatever is your inspiration, be the entire color palette for your home, okay? The entire color palette for your home. And actually, your home should be that way, um, that you have a certain piece. And that doesn't mean that every room matches. No, I'm going to show you how how that is exactly what that does not mean, but so that everything coordinates and everything is complementary to each other. But in this first segment here, 
about mixing and matching patterns, I want to just uh, show you. You need an inspiration piece, okay? And I'm going to pretend that this is my inspiration piece. And this doesn't mean that my home is going to look like this. It just means that this is going to be my inspiration. That's it. Simple. And then you get to go to Home Depot or another paint store and pull out a card of paint for free of each one of these colors that you see here. And if you actually have a, a specific piece of fabric that's got the little circles of color from the printer, that that can help make it easier. But So in this piece, you can see I've got a red, a white, a tan, a pink, a brown, a beige, green, and I think that's about it. Okay, so this would be then the color palette for my home. If you don't have your own home, you can make it just for your room if you're staying in a room, if you're if you're too young to, you know, if it's just your own bedroom, you can still use this principle that I'm talking about, okay? So that's the first step is select your inspiration piece and take it to Home Depot or another paint store and select a card that for each one of the colors here, I don't know if you can see this here, there's a hot pink, there's a red, that, that's why this is kind of a fun piece, okay? And I have in my home, I, I do have quite a bit of pink, actually, although my house isn't pink, I have splashes of pink. And these pieces here that are framed, I actually made those when I was an art student. And so I, I love having those around, and, and they are hot pink. It's a batik. It was a wax resist process that we did. So that is the first step, okay? And then... <clears throat> Let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and stop this right now, and then I'll make a, another a part or two parts so that we can continue. So that's the first step. I want to keep this one simple, is to select an inspiration piece and go to a paint store like Home Depot for free and grab a color swatch for every single one of those colors that are there, okay? And thank you for joining me. Stay tuned for the next part in this little series. I'm Diane Hicks.